Hello everybody, Brad Arrington coming today from my garage workshop. I've got a couple different projects uh, I've got going on here. Um, I've got uh, my thruster props from my backhoe 37 that I'm cleaning up to put on some prop glide. Uh, I've got the uh, mounting plate from the new swim ladder that uh, I'm going to install. Um, I've, I'm cutting out some um, uh, dash uh, templates are, are dash panels for a, a C-Ray that I help maintain. Uh, I've got a new VHF uh, radio coming in on that C-Ray, and I've, I've got a Siren Marine uh, uh, a 3 Pro um, security system waiting to get installed too. Um, but I wanted to, to talk to you guys today mainly was this new Impella tool that I just got uh, in the mail today and how this can really simplify installation of an Impella uh, on your boat. Okay. So I got this um, impeller installation stool from impellertool.com. Um, this is uh, model G18, uh, and it fits the pump on a, a Cummins QSC um, 8.3 engine. Um, now, the, the uh, also in this box over here, I got some parts from Seaboard Marine today. Um, including a couple of new SMX impellers. Um, now the traditional way to mount, uh, install an impeller is to get some tie wraps and um, use them to cinch down the veins like that. And then you insert it into uh, the body of the pump. Um, and then as you push it in, you cut the tie wraps and, and push it in. Um, but I've never been successful at doing that. It's just a, a, an exercise in frustration. Uh, so instead, I got this, um, this impeller installation tool. Uh, so what this is going to do is uh, help you compress the veins of the impeller, install it into the pump body much more easily. And so the way this works is um, we're going to lube up the, the body of the tool itself with a I'm using a little bit of soap. If you have some um, rubber safe lubricant, um, you could do that too. I'm gonna get the, the veins a little bit wet. And this is just, you know, regular dish soap. It, it'll, it should work um, pretty well. Make sure uh, you got a little bit of extra water on there. So what you do is you insert um, the impeller. Um, on this impeller, there's a right way and a wrong way. Um, the right way is to have this notch facing out. I'll come back and, and show you what that is um, in a minute. Um, but then you want to install this and rotate in the direction that the pump turns. And when you take off the cover plate of your of your pump, you'll see which way the veins are facing. I'm not sure which way they face because I'm not on the boat, but we'll just assume it's it's clockwise. So we're gonna push this in here and give it a little twist as we do. You now, uh, there is some resistance because this is thick rubber, but you just keep pushing and it'll engage and then you shove it in. And what you wanna do is, let me get a tool to push that in. Um, you're going to want to bottom this out into the bottom of the impeller tool body. So that'll, boop, that's in like that. You can see that's bottom out. And then you're gonna take this and if this is your pump body, you're going to push this in. And when you push it in, this pump has um, splines. So it'll engage on the uh, on the shaft of the pump. And when you push it in, it'll gauge on the shaft and it'll lock in place. And then you turn the impeller tool and as you're turning, you're, you'll pull it out. And then with the, combined with the locking on the shaft and the soap lubricant that you put in, the impeller will stay in there. You put on your, your, your replacement O-ring and your cover uh, and you're good to go. Much easier than um, uh, trying to use the, the tie wrap method. Now, uh, about this end of the, um, the impeller. Now, something I like about the SMX impellers is that they come with this shaft uh, an impeller removal tool, and the impeller is designed with this metal um, 
uh, toggle here, uh, uh, recess. And the way this works is this, when this is on uh, on the, the shaft, uh, let me see if I can get a tool to show you what this looks like. This will do. So when the, if this is the, the, the shaft of the pump, this is gonna go in there and lock in place. And then as you screw this in, it'll this center pin will push on the shaft and this is locked in and it'll pop off. So that should make it much easier to remove uh, an impeller. Um, the traditional way to remove uh, an impeller, if you don't have a special tool for it, which really isn't very recommended, um, is a pair of um, uh, uh, flat blade screwdriver. So what you would do is you would dig into the side here and try to lever it out against, you know, the your, uh, your your pump so that your impeller would be in there. But what's going to happen is you're going to mar the face of uh, of your pump, and you don't want to do that and cause leaks. Um, the other tool that's available um, if you don't uh, have an SMX like this. Uh, is a jaws type of impeller remover where you have a jaws that will squeeze in here and then we'll also have a, a, a center pin uh, similar to this. So you'll lock the, the, the jaws in there, they'll grip, you turn the center pin and that will grip and lift out the impeller. Um, now some of the Sherwood uh, impellers that are kind of standard issue um, for, for the Cummins uh, boats um, they will have a uh, a threaded area in uh, in here too, um, and uh, they, they sell a plastic tool uh, to enable you to screw that in and and pull out the impeller. Either the same kind of concept you're pushing against the the, the center shaft here, um, or that there is a a type of bolt that you can buy from the hardware store. I, I've seen it posted a couple of times. I'm not sure what the thread size is, but um, there are some options there, but you know, try really hard not to use the, this method here. Um, so I'm really looking forward to um, using this uh, impeller installation tool on my Bat Cove uh, 37, probably in the in the next few weeks. Um, my only concern is um, you know how much space is there between the the front of the um, uh, the pump body and the other parts of the engine. I'm hoping there's enough space to put that in and then insert it. Um, so that we don't have any issues there. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a, a great tool. Um, so I'll just one thing I'll note about um, buying the tool is that uh, um, if you go to impellatool.com, um, there actually isn't a way to order it on the website. Um, there's an email address that you can send your email to and ask um, the guy who runs the, uh, the company uh, what model of impeller you need for your specific engine and he'll come back uh, and tell you and tell you what the price is including shipping um, as i mentioned mine is a g18 size uh, uh, impeller uh, installation tool um, and uh, once he he gives you that information um, he'll tell you where to to mail a check um, which is a little bit unusual in this day and age but I sent away my my check um, a couple days ago, and I already have my uh, my impeller tool, so um, pretty fast service. Um, if you can't find that website, this is the business information um, for the guy who owns the company, Blister Marine Service. The guy who owns it, his name is, is Andy, um, and you can call this number and, and ask him um, any questions. And it does come with this list of instructions too, but I just showed you how to do it, so you you, you probably don't don't need that. Um, anyway, that's my new Im impeller installation tool. Really looking forward to using it, and uh, I'll see you next time.